Hello, I'm Andrew Lissing. We're in Europe since 4 and Brennan to Germany. We're currently in Prussia, so the middle stage. Oh, that's quite a lot of troops there, Hansa. Too bad I don't have a truce with you! Just in case. Um, oh, Holland, no! Well, you're actually the Emperor. Still, I don't fear your army. Muscovy are gonna crush Lithuania. It looks like Muscovy actually already has crushed Lithuania. Which means that Muscovy are going to own Austria. This PU system is stupid. Wait, Castile got involved? What the hell? Castile. Okay. What's going on? Attack against Castile in the... Oh. Neapolitan Conquest of Roma. Right, so... Castile's defending Roma, and Muscovy joined in on the side of Naples. Interesting. Interesting. I hate you, Austria. I wonder if we can get a quick bite out of Austria before anything happens. I mean, Poland's allied with them. And Lithuania have been destroyed, so I guess it's a good time for war with Poland. What's that AE over here? Um, none. Oh no! Naples are going to attack us! What to do? I guess, yeah, we'll have a war with Poland. Let's go cleansing the heresy and get ourselves a war. Screw it, we're not even going to bother with this stupid Denmark deal. Get ourselves a leader. Everyone needs a lead. Oh. Well, that's a bit sucky. Get ourselves another leader. That's better. 5 1 3 as opposed to a 3 1 2 2. Go, my pretties. Lithuan entered the military alliance with our enemy po Poland. Well, that was good timing. France entered the military alliance with our enemy Poland. Well, I guess um, that was a bit late and rather fortunate of us. Um, idea group, wasn't it? Siege ability plus 20%. I like that. Considering we are about to do a load of sieging. Right, let's go find that Polish army. There is a Polish army sitting around here somewhere. Religion in Lolland changes to Catholic. Oh, God damn it. Trying to achieve religious unity here. Convert them back. Oh, there we go. That's a Polish army. Get involved in that battle. Get some army tradition. Um. Who are actually at war? Let's just check. France! France got in on the war. Oh, crap. Yep, and they're sieging Tyrol. Oh, well! Let's chase this army down. France got it immediately. Oh, we'll go to there. And then come north. Uh, let go of that. Matrix from Hungary. Nope, I want you to have problems. Peace offer from Denmark. Nope, I want someone else to sort their shit out. I don't think they'll be able to get to us. I'm just hoping they can't. If they take two promises off us, then we can still win. I mean, look at that war score. Has to declare war on Munster. Right, we've won a siege. I guess it's, you know, pretty much straight into carpet sieging because we're just trying to win this as fast as possible. Take the capital, Krakow. The country needs him! Gain a military engineer or local defensiveness forever in Altmark. Altmark's probably going to be attacked, so I'll take local defensiveness forever. Let's 
Siege of um, Was Sour is over. Good plock. England white pieced with Norway! That means Norway's got a ridiculous war score. Excellent. Denmark renounced claim. Denmark will give core, 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 core. Yeah, but I'm waiting for Norway to finish. Finish fast, please. Bohemia are getting owned. Interesting. We call Diplomat from Ansbach. We want a siege. Want a siege. Want a siege. Winning all the sieges. We'll kill this guy in a second. Don't worry. His time's coming. His time's coming. More sieges. Denmark will seed. Ooh, that looked like all of the islands. Denmark renounced claims on... Yes. I think this means Denmark's just here, which means that Sweden can take a war or something, and then we can probably vassalize Denmark in a war. And that's the plan, at least. Uh, right, are you... You're not fully grouped up yet. Wait for it. There we go. Group. Jump on that guy. Can't let him unsiege that. It'll be unchristian. Siege of Plock is over. You absolute plocker. We lost a siege. We've won a battle. We've won a siege. Yep, and France contained there, as I thought. Which is a really annoying thing. Because as soon as we connect that up, France will be able to walk into us. Royal Marriage from Norway, yep. Wurzburg got that, okay. Move to there, move to there, move to there. That's annoying. I'm hoping someone else will deal with that. Castile enters the military of our enemy, France! Really, Castile? France have taken a chunk of you, and you're like one of the few people who's, you know, actually strong in this game. God damn it. Oh, I guess England have been focusing on colonizing. Yeah. Naples enters the military alliance with France. Bloody hell, France, are you just. Do people not recognise the threat that you are? Scotland, Poland, Castile, Portugal, F Naples. You can't... You can't be anywhere in Europe without pissing off an ally of France and getting France into a war with you. This is going to be like the last war with Poland. Ugh. Right. Uh, detach. Move to here. Group. Detach. Move to here. group and then detach and I'm just going to march the army up here and do some suppression particularly of rebels because screw rebels right Catholic scissors oh god damn it I didn't think they'd get it that quick let's actually recruit right so Free shooter infantry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Large Castan cannon. One, two, three, four. And some cavalry. One, two. Uh, uh. We've won a siege. I don't know if we'll be able to take them to 100% because we'll have to take France for that. But we'll take as much as we can. Don't 
I suppose you'd be happy with concession of defeat from me. Nope, not gonna happen. Okay. Win another siege. And cannon. Cannon, 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 cannon. There we go. Move to Neumark. Move down there. We converted Lolland. That's nice. Rolling Death Stack of Doom. Okay. Battle of Hinterpommern. Okay. Poland. I'm going to decline your offer. I'm going to tailor it myself. Because we've got 100%. So, what do we want? What will you offer? There's a few release nations we could do. We could make the Ukraine. It's a pretty damn early. Oh, most of that's actually in Lithuania. Not fussed about that. Um... Breaking your truce, your treaty with France would be pretty damn good. Let's let's be perfectly honest on that one. Uh, we can give stuff to Hungary. Don't want to feed Hungary, especially since you know we've got nothing to do here. Revoke cause. I don't fear you. We would suffer almost getting towards a hundred percent overextension. We have a lot of manpower, though. We have a lot of money. The regress expansion isn't too big. How much money can we get as well? Get 87 ducats. <laughs> Not that money matters to us, right? Money is money is like water in, in Prussia. In Prussia, money like water. No, we're not, we're not Muscovy. That's also not a Muscovy accent. Um... Yeah, basically, like, there is more money in Prussia than there is water right now, so money doesn't really matter. However, <laughs> we'll get a lot of provinces. Gonna risk it. I'm an idiot, but I'm gonna risk it. Right. Start coring. I'm glad I have plenty of admin points. Go, core, core everything. Ah! Can't core it. Can't core it. So that's 30 harsh treatment. That's fine. What are you? 30 for harsh treatment. Yep, yeah, you're fine. 20. They're all low tax base. This is why it's so cheap. 40, we'll take it. 30, we'll take it. What are you? Oh, you're a 6 tax base. Right, you're the one that's actually a bit more expensive. We'll sit, I think, uh, everyone we can on top of you. Your extension is dangerously high. Tell me something I don't know. D, and then sit there. Poland has entered the military coalition. Worrisome. To be expected, lose diplo power. Yep, these things happen when you're overextended this much. Right, how much are we taking as 1%? Okay. Let's split and the second one go to Plock. Let's actually hire a. Oh, we can't. Right, so. No leader. 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 Right, but the best leader in there, because that's where it's going to uprise, it does. Oh. Wait, well, there's an uprising right in the middle. That's, that's you know, halfway house, halfway house. Let's go both guys. Just crush them. Melted. Right, um... We need a free advisor slot. Oh, it's a military dude. Um, I like the idea of... Let's go manpower modifier. Plus two. We've got so much money. We can afford a plus two. Probably afford a plus three, actually, if I'm completely honest. 
Um, right, go on, go on, go on, go on. This is basically what we're going to watch. We're just going to watch this. Oh, let's make core as well here. Pluck. Can we afford to reduce revolt risk here now? Yes, we can. If the owners entered the military coalition against us, worrisome. They can't really do much. Oh! Who won? Who won? Ah, oh, I bet it was Muscovy. Personal union with Lithuania! I, I'm not... I, I know it's so happy about this. I didn't want it to be Muscovy. Now, the reason it wasn't Muscovy, and the ho thing I was hoping for all along, is that Muscovy couldn't get to Austria, and I believe that taking the capital of Austria would have been the war goal. And this is why I wouldn't allow Muscovy, like... They can't get to Austria unless they go through Lithuania and through me. So actually they could. I don't know why they didn't. They should have won that. Oh well. Power projection's nice and high. Let's go back to watching the overextension. Basically, there is there is nothing really for me to do, right, until this, over, this overextension is sorted. Taking that many provinces, uh, lo they were low tax base, so that's why the um, aggressive expansion modifier didn't kick us um, too hard. But the over overextension, uh, that's fairly dangerous. I mean, currently, we've got a load of money and a load of manpower, so I'm not too fussed. Like, we could go a bit higher even, but, yeah. And we're two thirds of the way. Bavaria has a war. Fine. Military access, military access, um, military access. Sure, have it. Uh, back to overextension view. Go, go, overextension. So, uh, oh, sickness. Flee the city, lose stability. Lose ducats. Lose Diplo power. I'll lose ducats. I have plenty of them. I don't even know how to spend the buggers. Um, as for technology, let's go up. We've maxed our Diplo points. I wasn't paying attention. And let us build some stuff. That's a nice amount. That's a nice amount. That's a nice amount. Um... What's good? What's good? Okay, there's a one here. Right, and what about for constables? Ooh, what constable? There's a point seven six there. That seems good to me. Oh, one point three. Excellent. We'll have that one. Uh, what else is there? What else is there? Oh, point six seven. I think I'll take anything above point five, really. And we are out of Diplo. No, we've got some Diplo left. Okay, that's 0.5 exactly. Right, bam. For advisor, Diplo. How much Diplo are we making? 8, 10. It's a military power we definitely need someone for. But, um... Pff, screw it. We'll go with trade efficiency. We're making so much money. Trade efficiency bonus would be insane. Chelno! Hello, Chelno. Bohemia want military access. What for? Defender against Bavaria. Defender against Bavaria? Sure, I don't want Bavaria to get any more powerful. Have the military access you want. We won the Battle of Chelno. Of course we did. We're amazing. It's a well-known fact. Liberal backlash. Loose ability or revolutionaries. In yep, there we go. What are the revolutionaries? Just because I know we can take them. Polish patriots have crossed our border. Deal with them. Of extension view. Come on. I think we'll end the episode with a lovely, new, uh, shiny Poland. What's our mission, by the way, at the moment? Oh, One True Faith. Okay.
And any month now. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. One left, but we'll leave that for next time. Right, what about converting them? Even Poznan wants to be... That's quite nice. Right, I'm going to end the episode here. I've been Andrew Lizzie, and this has been European Business 4, Brandenburg to Germany, with a very, very sexy Prussia now. Getting, getting pretty fat, but not fat enough to take on someone like France, or... Oh! Hi, Russia! Huh. We're definitely having uh, a couple of incredibly unlucky things that are going to cause some problems for us. For instance, Austria is now with Lithuania, which means that we have to face both of them when fighting them. Especially if, say, Lithuania join a war again with Poland, um, because that will pull in Austria as well, instead of just Lithuania now. So, in Russia is important to us as ever. We, we got very lucky dodging that bullet. Uh, Austria under Russia would be a problem, but... I've realised that the reason they want a number of provinces, by the way, is this. I just... I don't know how I can get rid of this province. It's got a high revolt risk. Hopefully it'll revolt, but... Hmm. Bloody hell, Russia. You're, you're fat. Very fat. Oh, hello, new world. Anyway, I've been Etrelis, and we're in the episode there. Like if you've liked the episode, you know, that makes sense. And it's also really helpful for the channel. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. If, of course, you want to. Otherwise, well, why are you watching the video to the end? Um, Yeah, I've been Etrelis, and stay shiny.